This Holy Week, our meditations will be an adaptation of the Stations of the Cross. Traditionally, the Stations of the Cross depict 14 events in the Passion of Jesus Christ, beginning with Jesus being condemned to death and ending with his body being laid in a tomb. The pious practice of praying the Stations of the Cross originated in medieval Europe when pilgrims were unable to visit the Holy Land, so instead visited these holy places using paintings or pictures to depict the places. Our depictions of the events and the passion of Jesus Christ will have only six stations, one for each day of the week, excluding Sunday. This guide is our Holy Week guide, and it has been created to assist you in your journey to the cross these final days of the Lenten season. You'll have an image and a scripture reading for each day of the week. I want you to take time to sit with the text and the image. Ask God to speak to you. Don't hurry. Don't think of this as just another item to check off of your to-do list. Allow yourself to acknowledge the sin and brokenness in your life and in our society. Lament the pain. Feel the sorrow. Express remorse. Confess and repent for the breach that has occurred in your relationships with God and others. Commit to action that will move towards making amends in your relationships. What can you do to repair your relationships? What sacrifice are you willing to make? Jesus sacrificed his life to wash away our sin. We must sacrifice as well. This video accompaniment of the guide is just that. It's the same thing that's in the printed guide that you can download from the oakchapel.com website or that you can um, look at on the website at, at your leisure that you can print out whatever you want to do. Or if you just want to follow along the video recording, that will be just fine also. Now, we're going to engage in some hard work this week because we are going to engage in some heart work this week. And heart work is hard work. So prepare yourself. The journey to the cross was not easy for Jesus and it will not be easy for us. But I can guarantee you that it will be worth it. So join me in prayer as we begin our journey. Holy God, as we journey through this familiar story, help us to understand it anew. Show us, oh God, where and why we find ourselves here again and again. Lord, move us toward a more just, future. Amen. Now, let us begin with our first station. Station number one is in the Garden of Gethsemane as Jesus is betrayed by Judas. We can find this recorded in the Gospel of Mark chapter 14 verses, 40 through, verses 43 through 46. You see the image of an incomplete puzzle with human faces. Study the puzzle. Who is present? Who is missing? Do the people look happy? Sad? Mad? Can you tell if they are wealthy or impoverished? Who are these people? Take some time to observe. You might want to pause 
the camera, you might want to pause your video while you do. And then you can come back to it after you've had a moment to observe. If you've had a time to contemplate and to observe the picture, you're invited to pray with me now. I confess my part in the fragmentation of the human family, and I lament my own brokenness, Lord. I have betrayed my brother and my sister. Forgive me of my sin. Help me to see more clearly so that I may love more dearly. Amen. Now, if we're going to reconcile our relationships, sometimes it requires for us to offer reparation. So today I would ask you to name one thing you will commit to doing today. You're going to commit to doing it today. What one thing will you do today? to repair a broken relationship? And who will hold you accountable to ensure that you do what you say you would do?